Magandang Martes sa inyong lahat sa isang maaliwalas at paalinsangang araw na ito, July 13, 2021. Welcome po sa Tuesday edition ng The Stock Market Today. Ito po ang yung lingkod, Benji Chidoro. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer who started to invest in the Philippine stock market in 2007. And I do this report every day which I started August of last year. Actually nga, kung nung tinitingnan ko yung past uh, episodes ko, I started August 25. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. And if you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And if you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, please comment on the comment box and I will prioritize. Maraming po salamat sa mga nagsusubscribe. Nasa 225 na yung sub subscribers natin. At uh, hopefully, mag-reach uh, po tayo ng 500 by the time of our first anniversary. No? Ang news po natin ay tungkol sa Phil Invest at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSA ngayong araw, July 13, 2021. Wag kayong alis. Ang lahat ng ito dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. Mula sa Philippine Star, Philippine Best Eyes Adding Malls, Hotels to Read Portfolio. Manila, Philippines, Gotianum-led Philippine Best Land Inc. is looking to grow the portfolio of its nascent real estate investment trust beyond call center offices in a bid to fund future expansion plans. At the right time, Phil Invest Reed Corp. would add malls and hotels in its portfolio, which currently only encompasses or comprises, which currently only comprises of office buildings, 16 of which are located inside Northgate Cyber Zone in Alabang, while the other one is in an IT park in Cebu. Actually, Phil Invest plan is to use Phil Reed as a vehicle for all future REITs. Moving forward, we are not limiting the portfolio to office leasing. Ana Venus Mejia, Phil Invest Chief Finance Officer, said in an interview with Phil Star on Monday. Later on, when the time is good, we have a pipeline of assets, a combination of existing and under construction projects. So these assets will have malls and hotels. Of course, not now because we're still in a pandemic. So when we're when the timing is good, we can infuse them to the REIT. He added, Phil Invest REIT is also looking to include industrial logistics assets on its portfolio. Mia said, but he added that these ventures are still in gestation. Our intention right now is to have one REIT company, which is the Phil Invest REIT. She said. On Monday, Phil Invest Land announced that the local boards already green-lighted its REIT company's 14.9 billion peso initial public offering set to begin on July 26 until August 3. For its offer, Phil Invest REIT would sell 1.6 billion common shares to the public for the first time at a maximum price of 8.30 each with an option to sell an additional 163,418 or 163 million 418,785 shares if there's robust investor appetite for the offer. The tentative listing date is set on October 12. For Beatrice Lopez, equity analyst at Regina Capital, Phil Invest Street offer of price is cheap enough to lure buyers. It's discounted relative to the fair value, so investors may find it attractive even at the maximum price, Love has said in a Viber message. Phil Invest Reed Parent will receive all the proceeds from the share price, which should be spent on construction of office buildings, residential mid-rise buildings, and industrial warehouses, as well as raw land acquisition. Some portion will also go to capital expenditures for retail malls, and expansion of the district cooling system in Northgate Cyber Zone. Now, 
may I share with you the commentary of uh, BDO Nomura on that uh, news item. So, ang sabi niya was, we believe the REIT offering will unlock the value of FLI's leasing portfolio and allow the developer to recycle its capital and support CAPEX spending and growth. We currently have a buy rating on FLI with a target price of 126. So with a 126 uh, target price with uh, Phil Invest Land yesterday at 116, that's a, an 8.6% upside. So let's now go to what happened to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. But uh, before we do that, let me share with you first the rates on the Skyway Stage 3 project from the Toll Regulatory Board. Ito po siya. At lakihan natin. Yan. Okay. From end to end, ano? 264 po yung end to end. Buendia to Enlex and Enlex to Buendia. But from Buendia to Santa Mesa, it's 105. From Santa Mesa to Ramon Magsaysay, it's 30. And Ramon Magsaysay to Balintabak, 129. So yan po yung mga segments niya no? ng uh, Skyway. Pero kung titignan po nyo dito, ito po yung fair matrix niya. So if you are going to Buendia hanggang nagtahan, 105 po yan. From Buendia to, ito po ay northbound. Ano? From Buendia to Quirino and nagtahan, 105. Buendia to Quezon Avenue, it's 264 already. Grabe, no? Lagpas ka lang ng nagtahan, Quezon Avenue ay... Full fare na, 264. Kahit yung Sergeant Rivera, A. Bonifacio, and Balintawak. A. Bonifacio, Balintawak. 264 pa rin hanggang NLEX. Kaya kung gusto nyo salitin, Buendia ka na to NLEX. 264 pa rin siya. Di ba? Kasi Buendia to Quezon Avenue, 264 na eh. Tapos Quirino to Quezon Avenue, 264. Oh. Nagtahan to Quezon Avenue, 264. Laki no? And then, uh, ito naman yung southbound. Yung merong asterisk po dito, nakikita nyo yung nagtahan at saka Sergeant Rivera. At the time that the memo was uh, created, under construction pa po. Pero today po, nandadaan na na po itong nagtahan. At saka Sarg uh, yung Sergeant Rivera ang hindi pa. Sarado pa po yun. Ito yung 5th Avenue entrance and exit. Pero 264 po siya. Ganun po yung fare matrix for class 1 vehicles. Okay po. So let's now take a look at what happened to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. Okay. The PSEI declined, losing 118.74 points to end at 6795.13. That's a huge decline. Ito po yung the largest decline in so so many days no and uh, nasa support area na po siya yung 6795 to 6800 is actually support area at malaki po yung decline niya on the market summary 100, 125 companies declined 66 advanced while 51 remained unchanged as for the all share index it also declined by 1.27% the sectoral indices also ended in the red and this was uh, led by the holding companies dropping by as much as 2.26%. Sorry, this was led by properties declining by 2.26% followed by hold the holding companies at 2.01%. As for the most active stocks, we shall be reviewing Ayala Corporation, ICT, Ali, BDO, SM, SMPH, ASAN, BPI, URC, and Monde. So let's start our review and tech analysis of the following most active stocks for the day. So Ayala Corporation is first. Yan, declined in siya, losing 10 pesos to end at 790. 
And uh, sideways to bearish po ang kanyang movement with RSI at uh, 47, more on the bearish side po. So yung kanyang uh, support level, actually this is already the support area. Yan po. Yan po yung support area ni Ayala Corp. Nasa 784 to 790 yung support area po niya. And then after Ayala Corporation, International Container Terminals. Yan, 165.50 CICT. Uh, actually, nag-touch po siya dito sa EMA20 which is the support level. But uh, it made a bounce yesterday and today. So, nagpipick po siya sa 165. Kaya po yung support level niya or sa resistance level nagform po siya ng panibago dito. Yan po. 163 to 165 po yung uh, resistance area ni ICT. And then Ali. Okay, Ali had an engulfing candlestick. Actually, the movement is bearish to sideways with support at EMA100. That's 35.59 to 36 level. Yan po yung support area niya. Although masasabi din natin na ang support area niya ay nandito po sa area nito. Yan po. It's um, 35 to 35.50 po yung support area ni Ali. And then BDO. Guys, when I talk of support and resistance, these are not exact points. But these are areas. So bumalik po siya sa 110, the support area. Dati po resistance po ito eh. So, naging support siya ngayon with resistance nandito po somewhere here at the 115 area. So, it's a bearish to sideways po ang movement ni BDO. Then, SM. Okay, SM had an engulfing red candlestick which actually ngayon po ay uh, bearish to sideways pa rin ang kanyang movement. If we will be drawing a Darvas box. Yan po, yung upper border po is uh, 1018. The lower border is uh, 980 to 984. So that's the area of uh, support. The upper is the area of resistance. Bearish to sideways po ang kanyang sentiment. And then after SM, the real estate and mall, SMPH. Yan, SM Prime Holdings. Uh, it's uh, more on the bearish side already. The RSI is uh, bearish at 39. Pero dyan lang po siya nag naglalaro. I think it breached the main support area here. Pero nevertheless, it's still within the support area. 35.45, losing 55 centavos. And then ASEN or ASEN. Si ASEN ang isang stock na although bearish, Alam mo na pataas siya eh, kasi meron siyang trend. Oh. Yung yellow, blue, and uh, black lines represent a bullish trend. Kasi under the candlestick po siya and perfectly lined. The RSI is also bullish at 65.99. So 880 po si Asen. And there is a resistance here sa mga nasa 9 pesos to 920 po yung resistance po niya pero very thin po yan because there is just one data that we have here which is the data of uh, January 5 ano? dun siya nagkaroon ng isang o dalawang candlestick after ASEN BPI so I think the financials is also bearish yan, naku, red engulfing candlestick but it's sitting on support actually, yan po Ang support area ni BPI nasa 85 po. Bearish to sideways po ang kanya movement. More on the bearish side. RSI is bearish at 41. Then URC. Talaga napaka bearish po ng sentiment natin. Especially for the good stocks. Ano? Again, this is in the support area. And the support is in the vicinity of the 100-day exponential moving average. Nasa 138.50. Nasa 138.70 po yung MO100. Pero yan po ang support level. Samantalang yung resistance po niya, nandito po sa area ito. 
pesos po yung resistance level. Again, when I talk of support and resistance, these are not exact points, but these are areas. Tapos po si Monde. Okay, Monde, actually our indicator is still under the candlestick, pero nagpo-form po siya ng support dito and resistance here, no? In the short term. So, 17 pesos po yung resistance. 16... 10 to 16.20 po ang support level niya. And bullish po si Monde sapagkat uh, fundamentally, mas mataas po sa presyo ngayon yung kanyang uh, real value. No? So kung titingnan po natin yung value po ni Monde, I think uh, BDO Nomura has a target price there. 20 pesos po ang target price niya or an 18.2% upside, you know, with the closing price yesterday. So, 1664 po siya with a 20 peso upside. So, sa ngayon po, in the short term, dyan lang po siya naglalaro, but uh, Monday is a good company with good products. Yan po ang ating report sa stock market ngayong araw. By the way, kung meron po kayong gustong ipareview sa akin, ay i-comment nyo lang po sa comment box at aking pong ipaprioritize. Ito po si Benji Chidoro, nagpapaalala, mag-ingat sa COVID, magpabakuna. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik. Hanggang sa muli, God bless and bye for now.